feels like a beautiful spring day today. Basically, all of our snow is gone, if you can believe it. We've actually gotten more than seven feet of snow so far this year, and it's melted really quick. Hi, flower friends. It's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm, and today I'm gonna use this opportunity of spring-like weather to get some stuff done inside the hoop house that I was just not able to get done this fall, which includes cleaning it out, all of the weeds, all of the dead plant material, and you can hear right now my tiller is actually running. I'm gonna till in there, and then we're gonna bring in some fresh compost and get it ready to plant because spring is coming. And I'll be planting in here in just a matter of weeks. This is the mess that it is. I'm gonna get that one. This is an ancient beast. Gonna get it going. Okay, that's a pretty good pass. Still have to do some on the end, but I'm gonna wait until we open that end up and put the other poly on, which I'm hoping to get to this weekend. Last year, I didn't use any landscape fabric in here. The weeds weren't awful, but they did creep up towards the end of the season. So I'm gonna try to do some landscape fabric in here and burn holes in it and plant inside the little holes. It's hard because I plant ranunculus so close together, so it's like having a hole every four inches, but it does help with weed suppression. These are some plugs of campanula that I ordered for fall planting and never got them in the ground, but oddly enough, they're okay. They're alive because they grew through the bottom and they rooted themselves in, so these should be okay. I'm debating whether or not to bring them inside and pot them up into 72 plug trays. I really don't know what the right answer is. We had planned on putting the second hoop house here, but then I decided I wanted to extend my mum growing, and this is kind of the only relatively flat space that we have for full sun mums that's close to the irrigation, which is right there. We did the mums here last year, they kind of leaned a little bit towards the sun. So hopefully if we have them over here, then they'll be in full sun and they won't be having to lean. There's so we, we so instead we put the another 50 foot of the hoop house onto the back of this one and we'll cover that this weekend. That is the plan. Otherwise in this space, I have some perennials. I have my lupinis. I have some rudbeckia. I have some bearded irises actually Looks like the bearded iris greenery is looking fantastic right now. There's probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 um, bearded irises in here. This is all stuff that's easily recognizable that I can lift before I do the mums. It goes straight back. And then the lupinis, they're mostly under snow cover still, but the lupinis are, are back here. I don't see any of their beautiful. They're probably one of my favorite foliage plants. I collected seeds from these this year too, so I might scatter them elsewhere. I will have double the fun, the grow space in the hoop. This is the palette of stuff right here to finish the hoop. I might bring this plastic uh, inside hoop house number one, and that's the end cap this is the poly for it and that's the wiggle wire and the attachments for the end i might bring this inside number one and roll it out because temperatures are going to be dropping and i think it's only going to be like 30 degrees on saturday when we plan to do this got bulb crates these are all the lilies that i grew they were stacked nicely but the snow and weather knocked them down and this isn't even um <laughs> not even the half of it here is a pile of compost that we will be spreading inside the hoop houses. That is a pile of sand that I keep for multi-purposes. That's my cooler shed. And oh, these, these are lily crates, bulb crates that were stacked up nicely. Branda and I made a nice stack, but as the snow has been coming off the roof, it knocked them over. These are my bulb crates for all of the bulb planting, like crate planting that I do. 
These all come from when I order supplies. So I have a plethora of them. Eventually, my long-term goal is to, you know, start tulips in the wintertime and have them available for maybe even Valentine's and Easter. And those are an old collection of windows. We had plans many years ago of making a greenhouse out of windows and, well, bought a nursery and those plans are put behind us. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. I am gonna spend probably another hour cleaning up in here, maybe moving some stuff there. I saw some netting on the ground. We don't want that snarled up in the snowblower next time it snows. So I'll take care of that. And then I have to meet my mom at the nursery and we're gonna start painting inside greenhouse number one. Um, that's not gonna be in this video. That's gonna be a separate video. This though, definitely need to figure out what to do okay so this is a wider piece maybe i'll use this in there i don't think i have a ton of it maybe enough for one row we'll see we can't fit the kubota inside the hoop house it's just too tall and i think it's i think it's wide enough to get through there but it's too tall our door is not that um high so instead of using the tractor we use both the tractor and my rtv to get the compost inside the hoop house so brad will bring the tractor over to the compost pile and then he will load it into the back of the rtv and then we will drive that into the hoop house and then i'll use that to dump that compost around in there and then i'll just use good old grit to rake it around in there Whew, i'm excited hopefully when brad gets home he'll be feeling up to that because i know i am all right, it's later in the day. Brad is home. I've got to clean up my mess <laughs> because he, I have to be able to get the Kubota in here to, dr to dump the compost. He is over there chatting with his buddy that just swung by. So I'm gonna clean up my giant mess. Look at this, it's disgusting. This is the story of my life. It's okay, I'm gonna clean it up. Now I have a pathway cleared. Oh look, Brad's coming right now with some compost already. Oh, danger, danger. He's coming in. I'm not gonna get a very good sh shot of this because, hold on. That's just what, oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna be outside for the next one. All right, I'm driving in. Oh, it's a close one. It, it's a close one. It kind of scrapes the top.
is getting dark out, so I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to record. I'm walking around. i got some nice piles in here. I'm walking around to open up to unload this pile. It's tricky because you have to dodge uh, the hoop house because it gets awfully close to the top. So you always have to be careful. Got it at our local transfer station. The load. This is what we have in here. It's a lot. It's a lot. Once I spread it around, it's going to be good. I never thought that I'd be doing this in January. Probably should have gotten the tiller, but no, I'm going to leave it there because we're going to open up that under the hoop and it's going to go another 50 feet back. So the rest of the compost that I got will be going on the other section. This needs to be spread out. I like to have between two and four inches of fresh compost on my rows. I think between this, it will be perfect. So we'll come out here in the morning and spread it around and see how far it goes. I can't stop looking at how fantastic and dark. This is black gold here. This is amazing. I'm really excited to use it this year. <sighs> All right, see you in the morning piles for shoveling. You can't see me right now. It's dark out, but there. <gasps> oh, spooky. It's beautiful out tonight. I wish I could stay out here all night long. It's the next morning. <laughs> the sun hasn't come up yet. It's starting. But I forgot I have an appointment to get some a sensor changed in my car this morning at 10 o'clock which is a few hours from now, I still have time, but I think what I'm gonna do, um, because I have to go get the shovel and rake from my nursery before I can move anything around inside the hoop house, I brought the shovel and rakes that I have to the greenhouses because I needed to do it, use it for the stone. So I can't do anything with my hoop house until after my car appointment. I think what I'll do this morning is, I still have some daffodils and tulips that need to be planted, and I mean, it's only 29 degrees, but if I use an auger, I think I can get some of those in the ground. So I think I'm going to do that this morning and then do the hoop house after I get back from my appointment. So yes, let's do that. While it's warming up this morning, I'd like it to be, well, it's 31. I'd like it to be, let's just say 34. Feels like a good temperature. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. I just want to go have a cup of coffee with my dad. He lives around the corner for me. I try to get over there as many mornings as I can and have a cup of coffee with him. This is my last cup of the morning, so I'm going to go share it with him. Well, not really share it. We'll break bread. No, we won't do that either. You know what I mean. Anybody recognize my hat? Sunflower Steve. Sunflower Steve sent me this awesome hat, and that's his logo that he had made by a, an amazing watercolor artist and he's turning it into some merch. I'll drop his website in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. Okay, remember earlier I, w I said I wanted to move the poly? Well, Brad suggested, cause he's a genius, that I bring it into the garage. It's gonna be, we'll turn the heat on in there tonight so that this doesn't freeze and it'll be easier to unroll tomorrow when we put it on. All right, we are inside the deer fence, um, which obviously <laughs> there's been a deer walking through, but that's okay right now because we don't have the gate up. So they're coming right in the gate, which is obviously where he came from. He, she, I'm not sure if it was a buck or a doe. Um, there's also been some cat activity. I can see those little footprints too. There are a few stray cats around here. Not many, as you can see, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. But this is where I planted the tulips. Last year, I planted them over here. And because tulips are a carrier of many viral fungus diseases like tulip fire, which will go through your entire tulip patch, it's recommended that you rotate tulips um, and not grow them in the same spot for seven years. So I planted them over here this year and then next year I'll go back and maybe go back over there and then over here and then over here so I have enough space inside the deer fence to rotate them these are little kitty cat prints 
And then we've got the deer. These are not fresh. These are old. They've obviously been rained on and they may have even uh, been here underneath the snow. I don't want to drive the Kubota on this. It's too soft, I think. So this is where I stopped with the tulips. I have about, I think 7,000 in the ground from here all the way down. And I have this spot right here where I already have this dug up and I could put them there, but I'm gonna concentrate, I think over here where I have some extra space. And this is where I'm gonna start to drill down and plant some bulbs. train it's about hmm, quarter of a mile behind my woods it doesn't really go through that often so but it's kind of like the sound okay this is my first time coming since oh oh I love it it's all dry now yes it looks great Shovel, check. Rake, check. Compost, oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna start spreading this around. I gotta go get my big girl camera cause my phone's gonna die. That's about how much we have left of the compost bin. It's starting to snow, it's 36 degrees out. This is what's left, which I think will be just enough for the second part of the hoop house. We probably should do that tomorrow before it starts to freeze again. Are you ready for your close up? Let's go. Okay, I'm here in the hoop. I'm here in the hoop. It's not too bad in here. I would say it's probably 40, 42 degrees in here. I'm gonna put my phone with my external charger on the phone, on the floor in case anybody calls me. I've got some phone calls out to a couple of people who I want to work for me this uh, spring. Actually this late winter, like very like now. <laughs> anyway, I've got some phone calls out, so I'm waiting for some calls back. Guys, I just got off the phone with, um, I can't give you many details right now, but I might be entering a contract, uh, flower related, and I'm terrified. I'm excited. I have a meeting next week. I'll tell you guys about it if everything goes okay, and probably if everything doesn't go okay. I will report back. I'm ready. Got the rake. No, I don't. Got the rake. I like to, I mentioned this earlier, like last night in this video, I mentioned I like to have two to four inches of fresh compost all the way down. So I hope that I have enough in here, but I just showed you guys there's more to the pile if I need to. There will be three rows in here exactly like I did it last year. I'm not changing anything because it was so successful in here last year. The only thing I am changing is the landscape fabric to prevent the weeds. And I'm also gonna try to plant out in here two to three weeks earlier than I did last year. That's exciting. And I'm also gonna be starting my ranunculus corms two to three weeks earlier. In fact, I'm starting some anemones this weekend this weekend i'll make a video when i do it all right i'm gonna start to spread this out guys oh my gosh i'm gonna have to shovel this over there's just way too much right there i feel like all i've been doing has been shoveling and raking this is just the season that i'm in right now wasn't planning on putting compost in the in the rows obviously it's unnecessary but to get it from one side to the other there might be a little bit in the rows Whew. hey 
a drink. Uh, I'm gonna go inside and get a drink. I'm gonna stop the video there. I only have one big pile in the back to spread around and I think I'm gonna have to have another, another load brought in for this corner right here. It was getting so dark last night that we just called it a day. So spread that around back there and then bring in another dump load right here, spread that around and we're good to go. The hoop house is ready to plant. I cannot wait for another spring. Cross your fingers, it's as productive as last year. I'm really excited for the 2023 season, guys. Happy New Year again, and thanks for sticking around. We'll see you soon.